Hello friends, today we will learn about nuclear energy. You are studying here. Oh, you have an assignment on the topic? Let me help you with this. See? This is a nuclear power plant. It produces a tremendous amount of electricity. You know, nuclear energy is a non-renewable energy source that comes from the nucleus of atoms. Atoms are made up of three particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. An atom has a core or nucleus containing protons and neutrons, which is surrounded by electrons. Let's see how we get energy from atoms. Fission and fusion are two physical processes that produce massive amounts of energy from atoms. We will learn about these one by one. Nuclear fission. It is a nuclear reaction in which the nucleus of an atom is bombarded with low energy neutrons which splits the nucleus into smaller nuclei. An ample amount of energy is discharged in this process. These reactions are used in nuclear power reactors since they produce large amounts of energy and it is easy to control. Look carefully. The water in the core is heated by nuclear fission and then pumped into tubes inside a heat exchanger. Those tubes heat a separate water source to build steam. This steam then turns an electric generator to produce electricity. Nuclear fusion. It is a reaction that occurs when two or more atoms merge together to form a single nucleus. A large amount of energy is released in this process. Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, which says in part that mass and energy can be converted into each other, explains why this process occurs. You know, Earth is made of the ashes left behind after nuclear fusion in supernovas. Turning ash back into fuel is impossible. So nuclear fusion is not spontaneous on Earth. As you saw before, in fusion, two light nuclei combine to form a single nucleus. The process releases energy because the total mass of the resulting single nucleus is less than the mass of the two original nuclei. The leftover mass becomes energy. Let's see some uses of nuclear energy. Nuclear energy sources are used to power spaceships in the extreme environments of deep space. Doctors also use radioisotopes therapeutically to kill cancerous tissue, reduce the size of tumors, and alleviate pain. Farmers use radioisotopes to control insects that destroy crops as an alternative to chemical pesticides. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.